It's time to party like it's 2018 and 2019 combined into some strange 2018.5 year. I guess that would just be June. Uh, all right, start over. Moon and Dreaming City weapons are back. A lot of them were sunset. Now that sunsetting has been sunset, the sun has risen again on these weapons now with new perk rolls. Which begs two questions. Where can you get these guns? And should you even bother? The moon weapons are quite plentiful. Let's rewind to 2019, shall we? The Lectern of Enchantment. You do bounties for fragments and cores. 20 Phantasmal Fragments gets you a core, which you use to pick up a Nightmare Essence, which you complete to get a gun of your choosing. You can get the following weapons. Love and Death, the Grenade Launcher, One Small Step, the Kinetic Shotgun, Dream Breaker, the Fusion, a Fine Memorial, the Arc MG, Every Waking Moment, the Void SMG, Tranquility, the Kinetic Sniper, Loud Lullaby, the Kinetic Hand Cannon, Night Terror, the Sword, which for some reason I don't have access to, and Arc Logic, strangely enough, Void Auto Rifle. No, it's Arc. Be aware that even though the expansion icon on these weapons shows that they're sunset, they're not actually sunset anymore. The Pulse Rifle Premonition comes from the first two dungeon encounters in the Pit of Heresy. Pit of Heresy can also drop the Altar of Sorrows weapons, which are Blasphemer, the Kinetic Slug Shotgun, Apostate, the Arc Sniper, and Heretic, the Arc Rocket. To unlock the Nightmare Essences, you can do Nightmare Hunts and other random moon stuff. I would just personally complete everything that I could on the moon if I was looking to unlock these weapons. But I am going to tell you right now, though, I don't think you need to go out and buy Shadowkeep as a result of these weapons coming back. I mean, you do literally need Shadowkeep in order to get the weapons, but I'm saying you don't really need to go buy Shadowkeep. And I'm saying this having not even looked at the weapon rolls at this point in the script yet. I don't even know what they are. Same with Forsaken. Don't buy Forsaken solely to go farm these guns. The Dreaming City weapons, on the other hand, those are not as farmable as the Moon weapons, nor will they be in the near future. According to Bungie Community Manager DMG, there are no changes planned in the short term to make these weapons more accessible beyond how you get them right now, and changes might not happen for some time which means the only ways to get weapons from the Dreaming City on a repeatable basis are Weekly Quests, The One Daily Quest, Blind Well, and Shattered Throne. That's about it. So that's how to get them. The next question is, should you even bother getting any of these guns? And the answer is not really. Of all the guns that I'm about to discuss, there are maybe two to four of them that I would say are even worthy of thought. Fine Memorial and Loud Lullaby from the Moon and Vouchsafe from Dreaming City, those come to mind right now. The main issue is, besides the fact that the perk rolls are just not that interesting, you essentially can already find similar guns in other places more easily. Like Dreaming City weapons, for example. You can't farm them. I'm not going to sit here and say that it's worth farming a Tiger Spite that has Subsistence Swashbuckler or Subsistence Frenzy when you can farm a Chroma Rush that has Subsistence Rampage very, very easily. The Moon weapons, they just don't have very good perk rolls, and or you can find other comparable weapons much, much easier. That's really what it comes down to. Now, there are some guns with unique features, like Every Waking Moment is a new Void SMG option for those of you not playing Trials, and Apostate is the only 140 RPM arc sniper, but the use cases for all of those things are very, very specific. The perk rolls that I don't think really matter, or guns that only have one role that I think you should look for, I'm gonna hit those pretty quick. Obviously, there are some more nuanced roles that you can look for, guns that might work in special builds and all that, but I'm mainly focused on the workhorse perk rolls, the this gun will be good in everything kind of roles. I'm mainly going to focus on PvE. I'm going to throw in some PvP suggestions when applicable. Also note that I believe dungeons can drop weapons with Vorpal Weapon within the Dreaming City, but I don't think outside of the dungeon works. So pop your Dreaming City bounties in Shattered Throne if you want to do that. All right, let's rip through these as fast as possible. Starting at the top, Premonition, which is only from the dungeon. Feeding Frenzy and Rampage is more or less the only role that I'm hunting for in PvE. Everything else is not that great. We do have two other Void Pulses in the game right now in Last Perdition and Grid Skipper, although Premonition is a 340 RPM, which is the slowest firing available pulse. 
one small step i'm looking for trench barrel but we're not really in a world where shotguns are the best pve choices right now special ammo gls are the champion one for all swash is on there too good perks but shotguns aren't exactly for killing trash mobs maybe one day they'll return to being top tier in which case it wouldn't be the worst idea to have one of these laying around tranquility the sniper i don't even recommend touching this thing for pve it has no more auto loading no more firing line no fourth times no high impact reserves no field prep it's all gone it has a lot of utility perks demolitionist thresh lead from gold if that's your thing knock yourself out uh th there are also just too many good snipers in the game for pvp right now as well for me to recommend this apostate 140 rpm arc sniper i don't think there's a ton to mention here either you can get no distractions or outlaw opening shot or quick draw but we got a ton of 140s in the game no arc 140s so if you really want that you know there you go arc logic 600 rpm arc auto feeding frenzy frenzy is the only thing that i'm looking at i know that there are some wellspring lovers out there go for it but feeding frenzy frenzy is the only thing i will care about blasphemer slug shotgun you got that fourth times the charm that's probably worth something if you don't have the deep stone crypt shotgun it's not too hard to crit templar or tanix they're still very good quick draw for you pvp lords but i figure pvp guys are just going to be using the chaperone if they want some slug action i don't really know dream breaker fusion rifle i'm looking more at pvp than anything else so slideways with kickstart maybe under pressure tunnel vision for some multi-kill action cornered or surrounded if you can frequently find yourself in those positions heretic rocket launcher no more auto loading but you do have lasting impression i personally am not the most interested in lasting impression anymore field prep isn't too bad though and you do have demolitionist for you grenade builds out there fine memorial 450 rpm arc machine gun you got auto loading clown cartridge subsistence and field prep good on you bungie second column not as exciting but you do have frenzy and one for all which are very good perks and we do have a machine gun buff coming if you can manage to peel yourself away from a seventh seraph mg and that war mind cell synergy this is one of few weapons that i think you can go get and not feel like you're completely wasting your time love and death legendary power ammo using grenade launchers are currently not in fashion and they got rid of full court on this thing but you still do have clown cartridge and auto loading both good second column maybe chain reaction demolitionist is fine one for all could probably get you some easy burst damage as well night terror the sword we have relentless strikes and either one for all or vorpal depends on what you want to use it for loud lullaby a lot of powerhouse perks are gone for pve leaving us with no reload perks in the first column and frenzy or kill clip in the second column but kill clip is enough for most people in pvp because you can two tap after a kill pretty much guaranteed throw on tunnel vision and you got something pretty good a lot of utility and non-damage perks here take them as you need them but again these kinds of perks work better with a build designed to make them good i'm never going to suggest adrenaline junkie as a general use perk because you need a build to support that perk but if you already have that knowledge then you don't need me to tell you that every waking moments only highlight is multi kill clip to me and the fact that it's a void smg that you can get outside of trials otherwise the only other one is the trials one which perk wise isn't that great although it is a pretty rangy boy according to an anonymous source probably looking at killing wind or heating up in the first column for every waking moment okay so dreaming city weapons have a bit more going on they are a bit better than the moon ones but they aren't really farmable other than just hoping you get the drop that you want so best of luck here waking vigil a lot of good stuff here rapid hit or outlaw you got rangefinder slide shot for pvp purposes second column has dragonfly kill clip disruption break vorpal i guess if you want that via dungeon opening shot for pvp ton of great stuff on waking vigil good luck farming that retold tale has some decent stuff as well but again non-slug shotguns in pve right now not really the hotness it does have one two punch it does have demolitionist slide shot or quick draw for pvp although you're probably still using fell winters so let's be real tiger spite has some decent stuff overflow and subsistence in column a swash demo or frenzy in column b not too shabby here but again with chroma rush being readily farmable 
I would much rather go farm that unless you really want Demolitionist as I believe Tiger Spite is the only kinetic auto that can get Demolitionist besides Horror Story, but Horror Story is an event weapon. Abide the Return, it's a sword, Relentless Strikes is definitely on there. Disruption Break is pretty interesting on a sword, I suppose. Uh, Thresh is a neat option, but I think most people are pretty set on swords at the moment. Vouchsafe has Rapid Hit, Outlaw, and Fourth Times. Not bad. Explosive Payload is very good. Multi-Kill Clip isn't too shabby. And Dragonfly is more of a fun perk than a top-tier one, so I'll probably be taking Explosive Payload for GM Nightfalls. Vorpal is also here, assuming you get it from the dungeon, which could be good for champions. Royal Chase is the only other Void Scout in the game, and while it is a bit more farmable, I think Vouchsafe has better perk options. Unfortunately... You don't have a ton of agency in actually farming this, but if you can find a good one, I would hold on to it. Twilight Oath, fan favorite sniper, is returning, mainly looking to make this a PvP sniper as it lacks a lot of PvE potential. You got no distractions and killing wind in the first column, snapshot in the second, maybe unrelenting as well, but I think people are digging the sniper mainly for the scope more than anything else. Finally, Sleepless, the Arc Rocket Launcher. It's got field prep, tracking, or auto-loading in the first column. Great perks there. Second column has Demo or Vorpal. I'm probably going Vorpal. That's it. If you listen to me ramble about all those guns, thanks. I don't know why you would, but thank you very much. Destiny's going to be a little dry until Season 15. I'm going to try and keep you guys entertained as much as I can. You might want to check out the streams more than the YouTube uh, until we get to the end of August. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.